gods are just What if the gods are laughing? Messing with her. It would be the Dillion! Be the first time. Be very, very careful. Dillion never much cared for the underworld. And looked dimly upon the druids, like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Genoa, your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world that you and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares? Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? A gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? What if this is not? With the sword. What if we're wrong? The sword will never be yours. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. It's just a pointless test. You've been fooled before. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's I saw hole. once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than forty and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Where are we? I don't like it. This place feels... What is this place? This place feels... It's... Creepy. Creepy. It feels wrong. It feels strange. Where is it? Where are we? There he is. There Did he is. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. He's Find going him. in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. The air is gone. Keep going. <laughs> How do you find it? <laughs> It's a test. Like the old warrior trials. Delian will help me. The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Delian and the others. With the water. She could taste the rot, but no one else could. She knew 
something was wrong, something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like that. Northmen speak of a death moon, a light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. There will be death in that house. She did it. She did it. You fixed the bridge. She fixed it. You passed the trial. Get to the house. You succeeded. There was a Northman called Grettir, big, red-haired, immensely strong, but he was afraid of the dark.
Let's go. You've got them. Where's the door? Find a way out. Find the gate. Get out. Get run. Out. Run. 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 Let it look at you. Don't let it see you. It's coming. Move away. You're lost again. Sanu, what happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. It doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. Without you, this darkness has made me a monster. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. They're taking them from the inside. You're disappearing one memory at a time. Every time you remember, it disappears. They're going to take everything. They're not yours anymore. They're going to take everything you have. The memories of ghosts. They belong to the gods, not to you. They're eating you from the inside. They want to kill your soul. They want to crush it. You think they want your body. They want your soul. They want your mind, and they're going to take it. The memories were yours, but they're the gods now. Nothing is yours anymore. Disappearing with your memories. The Northmen say that their all father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness, there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Yes, you can. Yes. 
The voices, they've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet, so dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. I can't go on. Dillian? Find a way. I'm not leaving you here. I think I'm somewhere else now. The breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? I hear water. Go to it. Reach the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow it upstream. I'm so sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of me. It won't let me go. Shenua. My father. He taught me. The hardest battles are fought in the mind, not the soul. You're no coward. You proved that to me in the warrior trials. This is just another battle. You can beat it. This isn't your battle. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides, you are going to be a great warrior one day. We need people like you. Okay. I'll do my best. I don't know what's inside. Don't be afraid.
leave it behind. I think I'm in a house. It stinks. Of death. The darkness is testing you. But you are in control. As well. Don't turn back. I'm getting close. Tell you. Spend hours, days even, trapped within herself in the dark. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. 
You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. And the sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. Here is the end of Sigmund's story. He was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. But one day, an old man came onto the battlefield. Although shadowed by a hood, Sigmund saw that he only had one eye. Dillian gave her the strength to pass the warrior trials, and she saw a way out. To leave her past behind and become a warrior in Dillian's clan. Go back, go back, go back, go back. The soul is tainted by the gods of darkness. Leave it. No. He left it here. He wants me to take it. You will pay a price for this. But years later. With Zinbel's parting words still haunting her, the darkness came back with a vengeance. A plague. Tony? Everyone suffered. My father was not supposed to die like this. This is your fault. <laughs> you brought this plague to us. <laughs> you have blood <laughs> on your hands. They're coming for you now. They're coming. They're coming to get you. Hold your head, strong. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Unleash the sword. <laughs> 